for me, diversity and inclusion, it kind of establishes that great working environment, helps you feel like you belong. You belong within that team, in that environment, in that workplace. It's, it's so important that people feel that they've, they've got the opportunities um, to, to develop and grow and that you know, there, there should be no barriers to that. For me, it's all about being a great person um, and how much we can learn from each other. Do you know what? We are all absolutely the same. It's all a learning curve and that's what life is and that's the best part of life for me is that you continually learn, learning about people. Colleagues are the most important part of this business and and if we say that and we mean it then um, we want all people to be happy and being happy in work means being themselves. We talk lots about uh, um, diversity and inclusion but actually it's about people feeling that they belong to the business and they can only feel that if um, if they can be themselves and they're happy. For me it's just about being treated equally to all the other workers in the branch. These conversations are really important to be able to break down those kind of conversations that people would find a little bit more difficult. Just some of the the pain and it feels quite shocking you know how somebody um, felt and, and knew and how you know they grew up and, and had to hold it as a big secret and what that that entailed to that that person you forget or there's a lack of understanding and and that there's are you know lots of us think well there's you know we're all people what's the big what's the big deal sort of thing and you underestimate just how how well, how horrible people can be. I had to reflect on myself because I'm comfortable. I've taken the assumption that everybody's comfortable. Some of the really good conversations that I had with, uh, with my mentor were around actually um, how it goes from being passive to being intentional about, about making a change. If, if you allow things to go on around you and don't take action and don't, don't stop them, then, then you're, you're as responsible. We're building more of a DNI notice board to get to the, the the team on site, and that they can, you know, open up and actually come forward. That in, in case that they, you know, they're not they're not open at the minute, and they they want to have conversations. I'm going to have a half day managed this meeting, and it's all going to be about people, and it's going to start with banter. It's got it's got to have integrity about it. It can't be an agenda point, and uh, you know, it should be entwined into great conversations with that, with, with, with my RDT, where we ended with some personal commitments. We only know what we know. I can only mentor you on what I know. Um, and that kind of then gives me that responsibility of, well, actually, maybe I should be going out and educating myself. Maybe I should be learning more and also learning that there are, there are different, different people, different genders, different ethnicities out there that actually I'm not aware of and don't understand. Every year I do look at the flags and go, oh, which one's that one? And I do have to kind of look it up and go, oh, okay, yeah, it is that one. But you know, we don't, we don't know everything. We can only tell you what we do know. I would say most importantly, don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, I know there's a little bit sometimes of people that go, oh, I don't want to ask it because I know that I could be seen to be discriminating accidentally um, but the questions are most important so that you know these things can can be learned if we see things that we don't agree with instead of just sitting back and not saying anything call it out actually because the more people say hang on a minute that's not quite right I don't think you should be saying that or I don't find that funny you know it's like a ripple effect you do that you actually encourage other people to do that and before you know it Everybody's doing it. Go and make yourself feel uncomfortable to become comfortable because, yep, some of those conversations are going to be awkward to begin with. Um, but every day is a learning day. Get involved and um, and ask those questions. Don't be passive. The same as we would call out a safety issue or any other issue in our business, we should call out an issue where you know we're going to be impacting an individual in the way that they feel. I think we can sort of overthink it a, a, a bit and. I think for me, I think we're at our best, whether it's at home in work, when we take interest in people and, and, and we care. And that is all becoming an ally is.